Hi everyone. I had a few requests for my instrumental version of Lithium by Nirvana. Um, I had a few requests for a tutorial. Now, if you didn't see uh, my version of this, that might be because you're only subscribed to my YouTube channel, whereas every day on my Instagram channel, I'm uploading a new ukulele instrumental. Yes, every day. There are bits uh, rough around the edges. They're not recorded with microphones and so on like I would do for uh, my YouTube channel. Um, the idea is just to like practice converting something into an instrumental and getting it uploaded within 24 hours so that typically recorded on the phone. So I put a link to my Instagram channel if you want to follow along with those. It's a lot of fun, um, but one minute isn't long enough to actually do a tutorial. So the tutorial for this one is on YouTube. So it's an instrumental version of Lithium by Nirvana. It's not in the same key as the original. I've moved it to F to make it easier to play. And the verse and the chorus roll over the same chords. So without looking at the position or worrying about too much of that, I'll talk you through the chords um, by name that we're going to use to go through this first. And then we'll look at the verse and the chorus and how we incorporate the melody and move the chords into the correct position to support that. So, we're going to be playing this in F, first chord is F, and then it's an A, and then D minor, and then B flat, and then we go to a D flat, E flat, C, and then back to the E flat before we return to our F and we repeat that sequence of chords. So it's F, A, D minor, B flat, D flat, E flat, C, E flat, F. And we start again. You could, if you wanted to just do a sung version of this song, you could just sing the melody over the top of those chords. But we're gonna look at an instrumental version where we play the melody at the same time as the chords. So we're gonna start off by playing this open F chord uh, where we have the G string fretted on the second fret and the E string fretted on the first fret and all the other strings are open. And it's the open A that is the melody here. move to the A, which is a dead simple change because we're just moving this finger that is currently on the first fret of the E string and we move it to the first fret of the C string. Next chord is D minor. So we put this finger back onto our E string first fret. We're going to put this finger onto the second fret of the C string. And I'm not gonna, normally I'd place this one on the second fret of the G string for the D minor. But when I first sound the chord, I'm gonna leave that open and then I'm going to do a hammer on, which is where I push that on without playing a note, without actually plugging it with this hand. And that will give a nice A melodic feel to it. Now, interesting to note that this is something that wouldn't work if you didn't have re-entrant pruning. If you had a lower G here, you'd have to do something else. Um, you'd have to do something like. Use the E string, the third, the G that you would get by playing the third fret on the E string. And it's just not quite as nice. It's a nice example of why re-entering tuning is uh, useful on a ukulele. Lots of people say they don't see the point. Maybe they've come from a guitar background. I don't understand why you have one string that's not in pitch order. But for doing things like this, it's really nice to be have that option. We're going to move up to a B flat chord that is the same shape as your normal open G. So that would be um, second fret on the C 
and the A string, third fret on the E string, and leave the G string open. But we're going to move it up a further three frets to here, and we're going to mute the G string with our thumb by wrapping it over the top. We only want to sound these three strings. And we're going to position the C string and the A string on the fifth fret, and the E string will be on the sixth fret. So that's the chord position we're going to have here. And then to move the melody on, we move the A string up to the seventh fret. And then we move this chord up again another three frets. So it is going to go from the B flat to the D flat. So it will then be on the eighth fret on the C and the A string and it will be on the ninth fret on the E string. And again, we're gonna use our thumb over the top to just mute this. If you're more careful with this hand, and you can pluck these without having it muted, then don't worry about that. I tend to mute just in case I catch them on the way through. And then the next note is, it's part of the same chord, but the melody drops down to the E string, so go in. and then we're going to drop all the way back down to play an E shape. We're going to bury it across the third fret, so we want one finger that goes all the way across every string here. And the melody actually goes from the seventh in that chord, the flattened seventh to the octaves so normally that would be your e chord but to fit our melody in we're going to first play it with the a string fretted on the fourth fret and then we're going we're going to move up to the sixth fret and you can you can either hammer on like we did earlier where you do without a separate strum for this or you can play sound both it's your preference And then we drop down to an open C. So we go from here. All the strings are open except for the A, and we're fretting that on the third fret. And then we go back to our bar chord, because remember we go E flat to the C and then back to the E flat. But here the melody note is, is the B flat, which is on the sixth fret of the E string. And we go up to the fourth, third fret on the A string. And then back to our open A. So that's our verse. play that twice and then after we get back to the F we're going to move into the chorus and we're going to do that without actually having a chord sound and we'll just play the first um, line of the melody which is the bit in the chorus where it goes yeah yeah that's why I don't sing when I'm doing my ukulele videos or all instrumental and that starts with a bend on the third fret of the E string, so it's on the G, and then we go to the F, which is on the first fret of the E string, down to the D, which is the second fret of the C string, and then we move to the F chord. And then 
then we do the bend and two following notes again. Except this time we're going to move to that D flat chord. So we want to have a barrier across here and I'm going to do the version of the chord that is also fretted on the fourth fret of the E string. I'm not going to sound the A string at all. Then it's E flat, but the melody goes down one. So this is going to come down one fret to the third fret of the E string. And we're going to leave the G string open and the A string on the first fret. Now the next chord is C. The melody actually moves to an F, which is not in the chord of C. So we'll play our F and then an open C on the C string and an open G on the G string. So it's kind of like a C sus fourth once you've factored in the melody. So. And that's all there is to it. It then repeats that again. And then it would go back to the E flat and the F. And that's all you need to play the version of this that I did on the Instagram. Because uh, it's only 60 seconds, there's another part of the song. I like you, I'm not gonna cry. That part that isn't actually in um, the Instagram. So I haven't included it in the tutorial because honestly I haven't worked it out. Uh, but maybe I'll do a longer version of this for the YouTube channel. I'll include that part and let me know if you'd like to see that. Let me know if you'd like to see tutorials of anything else. Please do check out the Instagram uh, post that I'm doing every day with a new instrumental. Let me know if you'd like longer versions of them. And subscribe to this channel, like it, all that. Um, and let me know if you have any suggestions on how I can improve. Thanks very much.